everyone and welcome back to the channel so this is another tutorial that i have came up with and it's for a super cute but super easy photo album this is what it looks like um with love at the top and it measures six and a half by four and a half now when I get photographs printed off, unless I'm getting them printed off to put in a frame or anything, I get them printed off at 6x4, um, which is standard size. So that is what I decided to um, use as my measurements. So this album itself, like I said, measures 6 and a half by 4 and a half, but the photos that it holds will measure 6 by 4 which will give you a lovely border all the way around your photographs. So you're going to have your white border and you're going to have your paper border. So with this one, I decided to use the Couture Du Jour paper. So you know that, that by now that is my favourite. Um, this album holds 20 photographs. Um, I'll just give you a quick flip through. It's really sturdy and it's really sweet. So I think it would just be a lovely wee thing. You could either put it in your bag or you could keep it in a box. Um, to hand down through the generations with all your photographs in it so it's so cute and of course you could um, use it whatever theme you were doing if you were doing a wedding album or holiday album or whatever you wanted to and I've just put my wee handmade by Sam on the back and you can see what I've done with this one is I've made the spine rounded and I'll show you how to do that but I really like the round spine um, this is the top and your bottom so I think it's really nice I think it's really cute so let's see how we go about doing this Um, I just I came up with this actually really quickly I was I knew that I wanted to do six by four photos so the measurements were quite easy once I had came to that so what we need to do is I just cut down some A4 sheets and um, obviously you can use whatever size of paper you want to start off with and then you cut them down so we need to cut them down to six and a half um, long ways this ways up and down ways <laughs> six and a half by five and you need ten pieces of those so what we need to do with those first of all is take our scoreboard and we're going to score each one at half an inch Okay, so all 10 are going to be scored at half an inch. So I'll just do oops, a couple here. Okay, so I've scored all 10 pieces. So we're basically scoring down the way. So we're scoring along the four and a half inch down the way a half inch, okay? And we're just going to fold these all on our fold lines. I'm just using my fingers, you can use a score tool if you want, but um, I found with this, this is 250 GSN card, so I found with this I didn't have to use my score tool. So just go through and fold them all really quickly. And I'm just having the small piece, um, the score line here, the small piece here, and I'm folding it away from me, like so. So I'm just quickly doing that with all 10. So nice and easy so far. There we go. And I've been thinking about doing this wee photo album for a while. I'm getting a bit obsessed with um, coming up with different photo albums and things like this. And um, Obviously I know, like I said before, these have all probably been done before, but these are the way that I do them and this is the way that I do my measurements. So I thought I would share it with you. Now, I'm going to put my glue down on the top side of the flap. Use your card, that's the inside, so we're going to do it folded over, we're going to do it on the top side. And I'm just using my wet glue, you can use double sided if you find it easier. But I find this gives you a little bit of wiggle room if you get it wrong. And then I'm taking one of my cards, and the way I've got it here, this is the card facing me, and I have my small flap on my left hand side. I'm going to place it right on the top of it, pick it up, make sure that it is level and it's straight and just press it down and we're going to open it up 
and just press it down from the inside as well. And we're going to repeat this process with all 10 pieces. So I'll just quickly show you again with this piece. So glue it all the way along. Take your next piece, face it the same way and pop it on. Pick it up, make sure it's the same. Give it a good press down. Open it up and press it down from the inside. And then so forth, keep going all the way with the 10. Okay? Okay, so we've got all of our 10 pieces stuck together. So we've got the basis of our book now. And you'll notice that we've still got a spare flap at the back. So what we need to do now is measure out a piece of card that is um, six and a half. Okay, so it's still the six and a half long. Sorry, I couldn't think there. Six and a half long, but this time we want it at four and a half instead of five. So four and a half by six and a half, okay? And we're just going to, again, the same way, put our glue all the way down this spine piece and then put it flat on the back, just lining it up like that. And that just makes our back page. So I'm just lining it up and giving it a good squeeze so that it sticks down nice and tight. Open it up and give it a wee squeeze as well. Okay, so that is the basis for our book. So now, what I want to show you is you need to pick your paper pad. Um, so for the first one, like I said, I used the, oops, the Couture Du Jour by um, Dovecraft. I used this one. This time I'm using, I can't remember what this one's called, it's something vintage roses or something. It's all different roses papers, but it's really sweet. It's like a shabby chic pad. So what we're going to do is we're going to mat and layer all our papers onto each page. So start with this one. Decide which one you want as your front piece. And just pop it on. Oops, I've got two pieces here. Take this piece off. Actually, I don't want that piece as my front because that's quite plain, so I'm going to put that in the inside. Like so. And just put it in so that you've got a nice border all the way around. Same um, width, like that. And then I'm going to take this one and put it on the front now. I didn't want that plain one on the front. I want something that's nice and patterned. Um, so like I say, you could match this. You could make it flamingos. You could make it um, mermaids, unicorns, shabby chic, vintage. Anything you liked. Wedding themed, birthday themed. If you knew someone was having a birthday and you had a lot of photographs of them from when they were young and they were turning an older age, you could do a funny album of them, which would be a nice idea. Um, so what I'm going to do is go through and put all my papers um, onto here. Now, did I say that the size of these papers? Probably not, knowing me. These papers have to be um, six and a quarter long by four and a quarter wide. And that is so that when you put your 6x4 photographs on them, you still have a border around the edge. Okay, so 6 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter and 22 pieces of it. So I'm going to stick them all down and then I will come back. Okay, so we've stuck on all our pieces now. So it's looking lovely. This paper is really nice. It's really shabby chic and... Lovely. So when you put your photo on, you're still going to see the lovely flowers and patterns and things around the outside. But, of course, there's nothing to say that you have to use this as a photo album. This could be just a lovely um, book that you could embellish. You could use it as a flip book. Um, put pockets in it. You could put acetate pockets in it. You can use it as a flip book. Um, a flip book. A uh, tag book, sorry. So, yeah, you could make it really anything that you wanted. So what we're going to do now is show you how to do the spine. And what we need is a piece of card. Um, let me think. Piece of card. What did I measure this at? Three inches this way. Three inches. 
by six and a half. And then this piece, which I cut to, this piece is two and a half inches by six. Okay, so two and a half by six. And what I'm going to do is stick this piece onto here. Again, just some wet glue. As you can see, this is a really easy, easy tutorial, but it makes such a beautiful book at the end of it. Um, so I think it's so nice. Again, it's so easy to make for friend mail um, or for friends and family and things. So, stuck that down. Now, this is the bit that I decided. I was going to score it and take it round, but then I thought, hmm, I'd really like it to be quite rounded, like I said, like this. It just it gives it, it's a nice tactile feel, it makes it feel like a real book. I just really liked it. So what I've done, now there's no measure into this, but I wanted about an inch at the front, and then it leaves you with about just over an inch and a half at the back. So, turn it over, and just go in with your glue, about an inch, like that, line it up at the front, and stick it down. Now I think it's such a nice contrast with the papers, so I'm just lining this up and giving it a really good press to make sure that it sticks, like so, and then we're going to curl it. Now I'm just putting my fingers, you can see this is the back. I'm just putting my fingers on it and curling it round. Okay, so I'm not bending it, I'm just keeping it nice and um, nice and soft. And then what I'm going to do is put my glue. Now I don't going to, I'm not going to put the glue right up here in the spine bit because it'll stick to the spine. I'm just going to put it on this side. Again, it's about, I'd say about an inch. And I'm leaving about just under half an inch gusset there. I'm putting lots of glue on so that it sticks down. And then I'm just peeling it over and holding it down. Making sure that it's straight, which it is. Just giving it a good press, making sure that my glue sticks and then I'm going to hold it down like so for a wee minute and that looks lovely. I love how the white contrasts on the paper. Now this time that's actually quite interesting. So you could, let me see. Mm, no. This time then, what's happened is, the way that I've glued it, is I've got less on the back, whereas the last time, I had a bigger border on the back. And now, I've got a bigger border on the front, and I had a smaller border on the front. But to be honest, it both looks nice. So it just depends how far you want it. And I think the contrast between the papers and because you've got the white in between and the white border all the way around it just looks lovely so that is the finished album like i say it is really super easy and super quick um to do we'll just have a flip through so that's the front and then we've got these gorgeous papers it's so it looks so nice so when you put your six by four photo or you could have a smaller photo, you could have a 5 by 3 and have a bigger border, which would be really pretty as well. So, like I say, you could add acetate pockets in here, just have an acetate pocket and slip your photographs in. Or have your photograph here, have an acetate pocket here and slip in a wee journaling card. Would be a really nice idea. Um, but this is just the basics to show you and give you the measurements. 
like I say, this is for um, 6x4 photos, so it's a 6 and a half by a 4 and a half album, but you could make it into a 6x6 album, you could do an 8x8, just by doing the same binding system. So, I think it's lovely, and I think it turned out really nice, and that is the two that I've done for today. So, if you like this wee tutorial, and you'd like to see more of me, guys, please give me a wee thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. And um, leave any comments in the comment box and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And yeah, thanks everyone for your support and I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.